We're with Carol Hassan. She's our curator of exhibitions here at Gallery One, and she's going to talk a little bit about Joan Colley Crane's exhibit here on the mezzanine floor. All right. Joan Colley Crane uh, is a, an adjunct professor at Central Washington University, has been for many years. Her uh, degrees are in printmaking, and she likes to keep that moving differently as she goes along. This is, uh, she like a lot of artists works in a series and so she will often do a grouping of pieces of work and so this particular show is kind of like two groupings in a sense. First off, these are monoprints. You'll notice that they include, some are backed with another piece of paper, they have stitching on them, they have ink on them, and they have wax on them to give them variety and texture. She calls them a one-off. What that really means is it's a mono print, one print. So she creates a plate, and then from the plate, she runs it through the press one time, and then that's the end of that plate. So it is not repeated, and that's what a mono print means. Now, you could create a plate and do it in sections, like this one, or you can do just one, like this. In this particular series, she was really interested in the transparency of wax. That's a new addition for her. She hasn't done that in the past. And she was also interested in making these look like they were very light. And you'll notice she has these unusual, they're with clothespins, but they have a magnet on the back, and, on, and so they attach themselves to the nail. So that creates an, an interesting, again, light kind of looking piece of artwork. Whereas you'll notice it has still, though, all of the ink and um, all of the stitching. Someone asked me if this work is archival, if it would hold up, if I wanted to buy this piece and take it home with me. And the answer is yes, it is archival. She's using archival inks, she's using archival materials, and even though it's not framed, it still is archival in the sense that it could be dusted and, and stay for a long time. And if you look back across, you see a variety of all these different kinds of monoprints. One other series that she's done is this little, um, uh, I don't know, collection of pieces. She loves doing little drawings. She um, won Best of Show at the Larson Gallery in Yakima two years ago for a book that she wrote into every day and then made it into a long book that followed and, and fell over the pedestal and came around. 365 pages in that particular book. So this is kind of a takeoff from that book where these are actually postcards and you'll notice that many of them have been mailed from different places around. And so you're allowed to actually touch these very carefully and look at them and then put them back up and not knock them off like I did. All these little drawings, though, are, are just one-day drawings. They're not meant to be uh, real s special, but on the other hand, being so immediate like that does make them special. So you can't buy one that's already been mailed, but if you find one that hasn't been mailed, like this one, then you can buy those. But again, it's something that she finds that she can do quickly and easily and is fun. You'll notice the series on the wall down here, there are photographs. She said that's something that she hasn't ever exhibited before, and it's called shadow play. And each one of the photographs has to do with the shadow. And again, it's hung in such a way that we designed this so that it would cast the most shadows onto the wall, which gives it a, an additional dimension. And so you'll notice in each one of the images, it's playing with shadows and, and how shadows work through uh, transparent curtains and that type of thing. So the hanging device is unique, but it makes it work because it makes it stand out from the wall a little bit and clusters them together. So 
she came up with the idea of how they were to be hung and how they were to be presented. It's really fun work to look at up close, so I encourage you to come in. Thank you.